I will show you how to turn this into this. Did you ever get after your imaging session elongated stars or even weird stars in your final picture? I have a free, quick, easy and simple to use fix to help you in that. But this feature has an issue and I discovered it and I will show you in a moment. This is the feature. Okay, you just go to starfixer.org and you will pull the image that has a problem. Here. This tool will fix the stars. It's not perfect, but it works most of the cases. I will show you right now. Let's pull an image. Okay, let's try for instance with a Trifid Nebula from a capture which was took with a 6 inch telescope from Skywatcher. And usually is a problem that we have because it has a large field of view. We like to use the focal reducer, a cheap one. And the cheap focal reducer, as you know, distorts all the edges so we crop with this feature you can fix some of those uh, stars and improve the image at the expense of reducing the number of stars in the image you will see because the image that i'm using right now has loads of stars so you will notice very well the difference now you just have to click here on submit first it will show right out of the gate the different versions version 1 and version 2 and you can have a, a hint about what you are going to get because this is a sample of version 1 and version 2 they also have already the version 3 the results will be in three versions the 1, the 2 and the 3 then you choose one now we click here it says get your high resolution image Click in here, we click and it opens this page with the number of the job. It's our personal image and it says it will take less than 10 minutes. Well, they say here that you can refresh or bookmark this and come back later. I suggest you to go for a walk and then after a while you come here, you do F5 or refresh and you will see the image or the same as it is right now. If it's not done, it will appear as it is after refreshing. If it's done, it will appear the three different versions of the image. So while it's doing that, I will show you. It's an Italian and he says, I'm an Italian computer engineer born in 1985. As a passionate amateur astrophotographer, I decided to start a new machine learning project to try help people like me who love taking photos of the universe. Starfixer wants to be a new tool that aims to improve astro images that have elongated or deformed stars caused by any kind of problems during data acquisition. Let me make a note here. The stars that have hollows they are not fixed. I tried, but the software doesn't fix those problems with chromatic aberration. This is a quick and simple fix right out of the gate to you pull the image and check if it fixes or not. This is useful. I will use it like this. I will, if I find, and oftentimes I find, well, most of the times as I do equatorial platform with Adobe, I have uh, sometimes elongated stars and the wind and everything. So I will. what I will do is I will pull that final snapshot. It's what I do, a snapshot. I will pull. If I like the result, I keep the result. If I don't like the result, I will keep the old image. It doesn't require knowledge installations. You don't have to install anything to work with this. You don't have to learn uh, softwares. You just pull the image and bam. Now let's refresh this and it's here AI version number one image link number two and number three. Now if we, we click here number one it has here one image we come back we click on number two another image number three another image so we have one two three different images and you can choose the one that you like the most. 
Now, let's analyze the pictures. Okay, this is the original picture. You can notice here the gradient and loads of distortion here. Remember, this is a product from a snapshot of a simple live stack with a virtuous telescope. So all the, the problems together. And in addition to that, after the live stack, I run the Topaz noise. And if the stars were already wonky, now they will be even more. But this is intentional to show you this picture. You can see that there were a bit lack of focusing here because with a Newtonian, when you see the stars with a small dot in the middle, after you zoom it, of course, it's a, a sign that it was slightly out of focus. You see, I'm zooming intentionally for you to see the defects. And as I was using a cheap focal reducer, the usual problems are here at the, the borders. You see all elongated, all distorted. Look at these wonky things. You see? All distorted from the use of the focal reducer. That's why I say that this feature is can be very useful for the owners of the Virtuoso 6 inch go to telescope from Skywatcher. Now let's go to version 1. You can see clearly that some of the stars disappear. Look the difference here, the quantity of the stars and the version 1. You see the difference? Original process. So this is the trade-off. This will happen always, especially if you have loads of faint stars and especially regions like uh, pointing to the Milky Way, like Cygnus constellation, whatever, it will happen. Now, I discovered it on version 3, it doesn't have that issue. This is the version 1, this is the version 2, and this is the version 3. Okay, all of them have slightly differences on brightness and intensity of the whole image. The issue, the issue is here in the version 1 or 2. And I found the issue and I found that not all the pictures have that issue. And I will show you one picture without that. So it's something only for you to be aware. Because the final image from the 3, I will choose the version 1 to my eyes. It's a personal preference. I will choose the version 1. But because of that issue, I will choose instead the version 3. So if I had to choose right now from these three pictures and the original one to post on social networks and receive loads of likes and hearts will be the version three. The issue is here. I don't know if you will see. I will try. I was searching with my, my eyes for problems and I saw this. Look, can you see this? This is an artifact that uh, it's similar to the artifacts that sometimes we have on planetary imaging without Ostakert. In planetary imaging, there are ways to get rid of those artifacts after we discover them, because we just change and tweak some things in the software and we get rid of those artifacts. In this case, we don't uh, have access to the software, fortunately, because we don't want, we just want to upload and, and solve the problem. But I noticed that version 1, so if you think, oh, the version 1 is better, well, this will only be visible if you zoom. If you post a picture, of course, nobody will, will notice. In the 1, look at the difference in the stars now. This software doesn't make miracles, but it improves a lot. You can see the distortions at the edges were gone. Well, almost some of them are so elongated that the software can't do nothing, but most of them are gone. You just look at the edges of the picture. Look. See? At a glance and you don't... Uh, it doesn't uh, come to your eyes like 
it's all distorted while in the original one you can see clearly look at this here at the corners loads of distortion version 2 the same I like more the version 1 because in version 2 the software couldn't get rid of these wonky stars here so version 2 is to forget and also it has the same problem I found here it's here it's subtle I found it here this one is a bit bigger look you see here can you see it there's an artifact here if you zoom out you will not see it of course and the version 3 which is the the best one it doesn't make such a good job as a version 1 with the stars but it does a pretty decent job without any artifact you can see any artifact here elongated stars are gone so not perfect but better than the original nice software eh? for free 